So let's learn how to make this uh, animated border. So it's, uh, now that's something that was requested in the Facebook uh, group. Uh, and in the same post where that re request was made, uh, somewhere someone shared a co code pen. So I based the code with uh, what was there. Uh, but I made all kind of uh, needed adjustments for this to work fine in Elementor and also for this to work only when you reach the actual elements. So let's say I'm uh, at the beginning of the page and going down the page so we can see only then the animation uh, takes effect. All right, so how to make this? So the first thing you will need is to go on my uh, post for this on my article. And then you will come and you will uh, copy the code. And then after this, you will paste it here. So, and this will work for any element uh, in Elementor, it really doesn't matter what element. So now I have it on the column. So it, it will wrap everything that's in the column. Uh, and here I have it right on the icon box element. It's not on the column, but it's in the icon box element and it's working just uh, just fine also. So really, uh, no matter what, what element you have this on, it, it will work. Uh, I, but I think usually probably we, we want this on the column or on the uh, section, most probably, or inner section. So, and then the other thing is, no matter what element it, it is that you have this on, you need to set a motion effect because this is what will control when it starts. So, and, and it should be fade in and uh, this you can set to whatever you want, but my preference is to have this to be as subtle as possible. So I set it to say fade in fast, and then with the CSS it works right away. You can uh, remove it and paste it back in, and then it, it will play again. So let's have a look uh, at the CSS because you might want to change a few things. So I recommend using a, a code editor. Here I'm using brackets which is free and quite good. But you can uh, use uh, whichever one you prefer. So the first thing is if you want to change a color, uh, you can simply select it, any instance on the page, and then use your code editor uh, replace feature, and then just enter the new color you would want this. So let's say we want to have this uh, black instead. So, and then replace all. So now this would replace uh, all instances uh, with black. So because the, the code has many instances, uh, it's, the code is a bit complex. So that's why I, re I really recommend using a text editor otherwise it, it, will be, it would be very complex to edit. And the other thing is, if you want to change the thickness, then what you will want to change is this. And you will again uh, replace. And then you will change it to the value that you want. So let's, um, let's make it less thick because now it's uh, very black. So let's change it all to uh, one pixel. And then uh, finally, uh, you might want to change the timing a little bit. So if you want to make it longer, you change these values here, this, this one and this one. It, it's, it's the same value, it's just for uh, a different prefix for different browser compatibility. So you can change this if you want to make it shorter or longer. And then you would change this also, if you want it to, uh, this is essentially 
the uh, daily before the animation starts. So if you want it to, to start earlier, you decrease this value. And if you want it to start later, you would increase uh, the value. So that's pretty much it. So now let's just copy paste everything back. And now we can see uh, now it's, it's, uh, it's black. It, it uh, interfered with the others simply because this here doesn't need to be repeated for all of them. You only need to have this one time on your page. Now here I had simply uh, duplicated the elements. So this part was uh, everywhere, but really you only, uh, because they are keyframes, so they are not directly linked to, to the selector. Uh, they are rather linked to this property here, the name of the animation. So you only need to have one instance of the keyframes on the page for, for this to work properly. And all right, so let's actually uh, remove it for, for the other design, just so that I can show you uh, better what it looks like on this one. Okay, so now let's update. And let's have a look what, what it looks like now. So that's, that's how we can uh, make this animation. And and that's how we can edit them. So let's say I wanted to add it to these, uh, the other tools uh, also. So you would just copy what the, this part here. And even better, if you want to have this, the same kind of uh, animation to, to, for, for a few elements on your page, even better would be to actually Come here, and that's also the instructions if you have Elementor free. So let's give it a class of anim border. Let's replace selector with dot anim border. And then, well, I think it will be uh, quicker if I just copy and paste the style. And we can see. And to, to make it even more uh, styled, you could add a deli, but here instead. So here the animation deli. So this would uh, also offset when well it it will offset when this whole box will fade in. So I think it it uh, would look very good. So then you will want to come to custom CSS and you can delete everything that's in there because copy pasting the styles, actually the only thing it, it useful it, it did was uh, bringing in this CSS class. So th this is the important part and the CSS, because it's already in this element, then those two, the only thing they need is the class name to be set. So let's uh, refresh and have a final look. And it works just fine. And while we are here, if you want to know how to make this uh, tabs background, you can check my other videos. And I also have another video about how to make a uh, overflowing justified gallery and I have a tutorial coming about how to make uh, this nice full screen light box so stay tuned if you're interested in any of this and uh, don't forget to subscribe all right thank you bye bye